See, most people today, they're blindly doing things and they're very excited. Therefore, the result is not there. See, for me, I understand how to take people from A to B and all the way to Z. Because most people, they never exercise their brain. A lot of you, you have a brain. Everybody has a brain. But 90% of the people that I personally met, you never exercise your brain. You never teach your brain, your brain to think the right way. Therefore, money is not there for you. Or at least not enough money there for you. You always have to chase after money. See, in order for you to be fit, you have to exercise your muscle. You gotta be fit. You gotta exercise your muscle. If you want to become wealthy, you have to start to learn how to exercise your brain the right way. But unfortunately, most people in America do not have the right mentor and coach to teach them how to think the right way. They only teach you how to make money, but they don't teach you how. Mm -hmm. You never start to think the right way. Therefore, there's a missing gap. Therefore, you see something great, you're excited, but how come after three months down the road, you're still broke? Mm -hmm. How come all of a sudden you join an opportunity, you started, you're recruiting 100 people, and all of a sudden everybody quit, you end up by yourself or a few people left? You don't want to do that. You want to do something different here. And that's what I'm going to teach you. Recruit a lot of people. That's a philosophy. Is it right or wrong? There's no right or wrong. Second philosophy for you. Recruit quality first. Then quantity will come. Mm -hmm. That's my philosophy. Is it right or wrong? Yeah. It's what you believe in. No, some people say no. That's where the company's gonna teach you. Not a philosophy. Enjoy now and work hard later. Work hard now and enjoy later. Two different philosophies. Which one is right? I don't know which one. But I'm telling you, I sacrificed my early years of age when all my friends was partying, drinking, chasing after girls. I sacrificed the first few years to build my career and my organization. Today, I'm a multi, multi, multi millionaire. I can do things that nobody can ever dream about. Is that right or wrong? So some people say it's wrong because you sacrifice your party in time. But for me, now I can party anywhere without any financial difficulty. Right? People, my friend, chase after girl. I don't need to chase after girl. They come to me. <laughs> Philosophy. Yep. Not a one for you. Make money, spend them, and save the rest. Mm. Make money, save money, then spend the remaining. Mm. What kind of philosophy does people teach you? Very important. If they teach you the wrong philosophy from day one, you already failing. Help people first. Money is the byproduct. Consumer first. Agent second. Shareholders number three. That's a philosophy. I'm a shareholder of the whole thing. I never worry about me. Anything I do, I promise you, I put you first before me. Really, I'm 39 years old. I can do anything I want to do today. Everywhere I go look at the stack of cash, I got always 5,000 cash in my pocket. <laughs> I used to have $20. Yeah. My bank account is always a million dollars in my checking account. Mm -hmm. At least one of my checking account. If today I stop working, my generation will be okay for the next five generations, even if they keep spending money. It will not run out. Doesn't matter how spoiled they are. So you think I'm doing this for money? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this because I believe in what I do. Living benefits, tax-free retirement, Protecting people if they get sick. Do you know this is what you've been doing for the rest of your life? If this is what yeah. you committed today? So if you're gonna come in here and try to get a license and sell a couple policy, and you're not gonna stick here, that's why you're not gonna make money consistently. Consistency equals what? Consistent of commitment too. So people say, how, how long are you gonna be in PFA? For me, for life. Because this is what I love to do. Because I believe in the concept. So. You gotta ask yourself, you gotta do your own due diligence today. Do you do your own due diligence about the product? Do you believe in the product? Do you own a product? Do you feel good about selling this product, whatever we talk about to your own family? If today you don't feel proud to talk about this product to your best friend and your mom, your dad, 
you are in the wrong business. You need to be quitting this business today. Mm. How are you going to be here for the long haul in the next five, ten years leading people and making money consistently if you don't even believe in what you do? So what is my point? Do your own due diligence. Do your own research. Listen to your CFT. Whatever you need to do to making sure you love what you do. If you don't love what you do, stop chasing after money because the money is not going to last for too long. So far, so good. Yep. Give me a uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. See, the concept got to go before the technique. Technique means what? The words you use. The way you close a deal. The presentation. The art of closing. The art of recruiting. Then you got to learn the techniques. You know, you got to be good in what you do. You got to master something that's basic. What we show you in PFA is easy. I tell you that right now. Anybody can do it. But you got to master the easy thing. That's one thing I learned in the last 20 years. I mastered the easy thing. Mm -hmm. And people say, well, if it's so easy, how come I'm not successful? How come I'm not rich? Because it's easy not to. The things that's easy to do, it's also not easy to do. Mm. Yep, that's right. Yep. That's why people poor. Mm -hmm. For the longest time, from the last 20 years in the industry, I worked very hard at it. And I became great at it. When I sleep, I can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I, I improve myself every day. I never stop growing. I never stop learning. I'm always humble to people who are more successful than I do. I never, ever, ever think of myself is right here. I always put myself here because you always can learn something from somebody. Yes. You see, you, who, who, who do you compare to? That's the, that's the question you need to be asking yourself. If today you're making $100,000 a year, you really think you're that great, then you're going to start to slow down. I'll give you an example. If today I go to China, I'm from Hong Kong, by the way, and I belong to China. <laughs> <laughs> if today I go to Vietnam, Vietnam. <laughs> Philippines, for a guy like me, I feel like I'm a king. Because if I go to China, $2 million annual income, 2.3, times six times of yuan, Chinese yuan. You know how much is that? That's 13 million yuan. I walk in China, you bump into me, I look at you, get back there. I feel good. If I go to Vietnam, Vietnam I feel amazingly good. <laughs> Because one US dollar equals a million bone, right? Something like that, right? Coca-Cola. I got a million bone of Coca-Cola. Bam! <laughs> but if I own, if I make two million dollars, I go to Europe. I feel so small. One time I went to Monte Carlos. Anybody been to Monte Carlo? James Bond? Or the Ferrari parked outside the yacht? And I went to one of this guy, very casual, t-shirt, sandal, and I said, this is your boat? I said, yeah, this is mine. Older guy, it's about 65 years old. And I said, uh, how much does boat cost? He looked at me very casually. He said, it's only $70 million. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot compare yourself with people who's lower than you. Mm you got to always look at other people who's better than you. Yeah. That's how you're going to keep learning. Mm. Yes. So far, so good. Yes. 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 If you're thinking you make $50,000 a year in PFA, you think you're good, you, 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 lo you lose the game. Today, I still don't think I'm good. I'm still learning. Because if I'm not getting to that level, how are you going to get to the next level? Is that right? If Henry and Tiffany doesn't make $200,000, how are you going to have a Michael and Miha make 100000 That's that simple. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So everybody got to keep improving. Keep going up. Educating yourself. Very important. Now, I've been a speaker for the company for many, many years already. And every time, if you listen to my speaking gig, it's always different. Yep. Yep. Yes. Not for sure. Right? Mm -hmm. Is yes. it right? It's always yes. 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 So, so, Some of you, do you learn something every time you listen to some? I mean, yes. to, yeah. month, to read books, to understand what is happening in the financial market, to understand what is happening in the world. So when I do my presentation, do my speech, I want to implement all these outside sources into a story, a real story, and into PFA's opportunity. That's why. 
every time people listen to me speaking, they never get tired. And I've been doing this for so many years. The books you read, the tapes you listen to, the new people you meet, that's what you gotta do. Instead of always get on Facebook, ain't nobody gonna, nobody gonna make you more money if you six, spend six hours on Facebook and chatting with people. I, I said, I think it's the wrong crowd. Nobody react to me on that one because you don't use Facebook. The older generation here, okay? If you spend six hours, five hours watching, watching Vietnamese drama, that, that, you got the laugh. That, oh, oops, oops. Because the young people understand the Facebook. Vietnamese drama. The Hong Kongese, you know the Hong Kongese drama, right? You guys all love it. Like 20 episodes, 50 episodes, right? Once you watch it, you can't stop, right? Most of the time. That's not going to make you a lot of money. I spend 30% of my time every single month to improve myself. That's what, that's the how. That's the how. If you're not reading any books, if you're not meeting any new people, you're not listening to tapes, you're not being educated about different things, it's hard for you to be a leader that's leading a lot of people because all you know is one trick. you got to have different tricks for different people. That's right. I understand California is a very casual type of state, especially LA and Northern California. But remember, sometimes you're too casual, it might not be good for your business. Your image, you can be casual, but professional too. Casual is good. I, you know, you, when I used to be in the East Coast, I always wear a tie. I don't wear a tie anymore when I came to California. I feel good about it. <laughs> you have to dress for success. Your personality, has to be liked by people. You see, all of you are ugly people. <laughs> and all of you are good looking people. It depends on how you smile at me. <laughs> Some of you, you don't smile, you look very ugly. <laughs> you look like your last five generations just died. <laughs> Once you smile, all of you have a good, good, good looking feature. Do you not understand that? Yes. See, people say good looking, no. See, a lot of people give me compliments. Man, you look like a Hong Kong movie star. <laughs> You're good looking. And I'm, I'm saying that, but the reality is I'm not good looking. My personality, my charisma, and plus a little bit of money, <laughs> and the way I smile at you, make me better looking. Your personality, very important. Smile at people. Be a gentle one to people. Be warm to people. That's what you gotta do. You're in the sales. You cannot wear that technical engineering background. I look at a lot of technical people here. You wanna be good in sales? You need to be smiling. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Why, why are you in sales? Why are you in sales? Every time when you don't smile at people, you look, see, you know, you know, you know, every time when I go to a meeting, when I first came in here, you know where, if you notice every meeting that I go to, Every meeting that I conduct, the first place I go to before I do meeting, I go to the bathroom. I look at the mirror. Every time. Right, Tiffany? The first thing I come in, I ask Tiffany, where's the bathroom? Really? Before I see you today, I look at the mirror and I say, is this person that people will, do I want to follow this person? If you don't even want to follow you, who the heck is going to follow you? <laughs> Yes or no? Yes. 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 So I'm looking at the mirror myself. Wow, good looking guy. <laughs> Very sharp. He's ready. People's gonna follow that person. That's what you need to do. Your, your personality is everything. People like you, business start. People don't like you, no business. And your image, your image, all right? Your image, spend a little bit more time on Fashion, a little bit. <laughs> All right, you ain't you call anybody right here, man. Right? You got you got you got to dress up, in, not too flashy, mm -hmm. but people look at you, say they're comfortable. Wow, mm -hmm. what do you do? Mm -hmm. People say don't judge me by the way I look. <laughs> people say don't judge a book by its cover, but people do. Mm -hmm. This is the society. We're no longer about hundred years ago. This is a society that people judge you everything you do, the way you walk, the car you drive, the way you dress. They don't think you're successful, you end of the game already. You ain't got no chance. 
fastest thing you gotta learn.